The Walking Dead. This is season seven, episode 12 of The Walking Dead. Its title is Say Yes. Let's do it. Rick and Michonne are doing things. So they just go out in the day, they get supplies, and then they bang it out. Friends repeat. They got the tasting pretzels. And batteries. Did, did you just beat those guys up and take their stuff when they were golfing? That's not cool. Watch the road, Michonne. Quit looking at him. Drive. Hey, I was just coming over to do that. Denise showed me how. I'm done. It ain't hard to take stitches out. I've done it. We just need to find some guns. Do you know where we could find that many guns today? Yeah, she does. Something serious happened here. The apocalypse, honey. Yeah, Walker. What? No, go get you. Oh, you're an ugly Walker. You were fat. You need weight loss, skin removal surgery. Don't just lay its throat. It's gonna ooze on you. Oh, it was a toy one. Sorry. Toy guns can be deadly too if they shoot BBs at your eye. You're gonna fall through that roof. It's just, it's a setup. That's a lot of walkers. It's making tons of noise. Why are you shooting those? Shoot the walkers. You're wasting bullets. Oh, the roof's gonna crack and they're gonna fall down. That was, that was obvious. And they're laughing where there's like pipes sticking out of them and stuff. Did they land on a bed or something soft? Like a mat? That's lame. I was gonna use it to kill Negan. I was ready to. But you hit his bat, so that's your fault. Eugene would still be here. She's the only one that cares about Eugene. I want some MREs now. Those things are amazing. So there was like no walkers inside at all? Everyone was all at the fair? We don't have to get it done no more. Okay, Rick, just go home. Rick, just go home. Should get back. You know, Rick, you have two kids you should get back to. Quit playing house out there. Does, does Judith talk yet? She put her ass on the line for me. Quit cussing in front of the kids, you monster. What makes our life worth more than theirs? Your main characters, and they were in one episode. Doing a lot of shadows in this episode. I like it. Pull his helmet off and kill him. His foot's gonna come off. His foot came off. Just ax him in the face. You pulled the torso off? That's some heavy, that's, that's heavy lifting. Whoa, she got a twofer. Sword through two heads. The brakes don't work. Oh, the brakes don't work, stop pushing. Oh, whoa, there's a gun? Oh, his gun's just going off? That's awesome. You shouldn't get in the trunk, Michonne. There's warnings. Yeah, you're, you're gonna die, sure. sorry. Well, good luck. Thank goodness that car had a sunroof, dude. That is the saddest fair ever. And, and carnivals are usually pretty sad anyway. Behind you! Beside you! Ish. Yeah, they're already coming. You don't have to keep banging. How is he stabbing people with a hook thing and it's not getting caught in their head? Okay, Rick, don't get the deer. Just kill them. There'll be more deer. That deer is awfully chill with everything that's going on around it. It's a very bad CG deer, too. All their hands are tied up? That's weird. There you go. I figured it. You'd fall. Carnivals are dangerous. That's what you get for being stupid. Well, Rick's dead. Moving on. It's the deer, honey. They're eating the deer. I just, yeah, I know it. And now your sword's underneath them, so come on. Don't run and hug at someone with a sword in your hand. He's grabbing her butt. And we're gonna lose people. Maybe a lot of them. Maybe even each other. Do you don't want to hear that? Making a future for Judah. Who you haven't seen in a long time and you don't seem to miss? I can lose you. Ouch. Michonne's got boogers. I seen them. Yes, but operational. Well, you can fire a few. Try them out if you like. Just not at me. How many? Ten. Nine. And the cat back. Yeah, you stole. We know that. Twenty. I keep the cat and get you the guns. We fight together. <laughs> he really wants that cat. Yes. Tara, just tell him already. It's getting annoying. If it is both of us. It is. Stupid women. This episode was alright, I guess. It starts, Rick and Michonne are out looking for guns and stuff, and they're really not finding a lot, but Rick seems to enjoy his time with Michonne and wants to keep doing it. Then back at Alexandria, Rosita's still being all rude and doesn't want to listen to anyone wants to fight. 
And back with Michonne, she sees a deer and wants to kill it, but then when she goes and gets her gun, it ran away, and Rick's like, I owe you one. While they're looking for a deer, they see that there's like a fairgrounds right near them, and that there's military people there as zombies, and they have their guns still, and they're like, we could get those guns. They climb up on the roof of the building, and they see that there's like a fairgrounds is enclosed, and there's tons of walkers, and they're like, yeah, we could totally take them. And then they fall through the ceiling, which I saw coming, because the ceiling had tons of water on it, and you're like, they're going to fall through that. Rosina goes out looking for guns, and then she finds what she thinks is a gun, but she goes up and has to fight this big fat walker, and then she beats him, and then it's a toy gun, and she's mad. Then we see with Rick and Michonne, they fell through the ceiling and landed on this big mat, and there's just like tons of pallets of food everywhere, and no walkers inside. Then Rosina goes back to Alexandria, and she goes and chews out Gabriel for like, talking her into not killing herself by attacking Megan, and he's like, hey, I'm sorry you're alive. Then back with Rick and Michonne, they're eating a bunch of MREs. And Michonne's like, after we, you know, kill Negan, there's going to be this void. People are going to need to have organization. Someone's got to run everything. And you should do it. And he's like, nah, I don't want to. But I'm really enjoying this trip we're on. We should just stay out here a few more days. Then we see that Tara is watching Judith. And she's looking at her little bracelet and struggling over whether she should tell Rick about the Oceanside people or not. And seriously, why does that kid not talk yet? Is it like, she's like three or something, isn't she? Then we go back to Rick and Michonne and they want to clear out that whole field. And they have a plan where they're going to kill a few of them, but then they're going to get a car and roll it into the gate to kind of like bottleneck them a little bit. And Rick's in the car steering it, and Michonne goes to push it, but there's no brakes. And then one of the walkers, who is like a military guy, has a gun, and when he's like trying to get out of these spikes he's impelled on, the gun starts shooting. So Michonne jumps in the trunk, no brakes, they roll past the fence, and now they're like in the field with the walkers. Rick and Michonne then pop out of the sunroof and run a little bit. They're behind one barricade. And they start killing some walkers, but the walkers just push the barricade over. So they decide to split up and go to, like, two different attractions, get behind those barricades, and then take out the walkers there. Rick's at the Ferris wheel, but then he sees off to the side that there's a deer. And it's like, hey, Rick, focus! But he's like, no, I want to go get that deer for Michonne because, I don't know, sentimental reasons and not, you know, life-threatening reasons. He climbs up on the Ferris wheel a little bit, and then he sees a deer, but then there's walkers coming at the deer. And then I think he hesitates for a second, and then the Ferris wheel breaks, and he falls past the barricade. Michonne sees this, she runs over there, walkers are surrounding him, and then it looks like walkers are, like, surrounding him and eating him. Michonne thinks he's dead, she just, like, drops her sword and gives up. But then he pops out from under this little debris tent type thing, and turns out, of course, they were eating a deer, he's not dead. They fight and save the day, but Michonne's crying because she thought he was dead. Then there's some shots of them just going throughout the field and collecting a bunch of guns, and there's, like, a bunch of them out there. Then Rick and Michonne are driving away, and Michonne still seems really sad, so Rick's like, hey, look. I would have enjoyed a few more days out here. It would have been fun. Sorry you thought I was dead. He says he hasn't been sleeping at night because he's been thinking about the people they lost, but what they need to do next is fight and how they're going to lose people and they might even lose each other, but, you know, if she loses him, she needs to go on and be the leader because she rallied him to this whole living thing and not just surviving thing. Then Brick Michonne and everyone else takes the guns to those junk people, those weird trash people. The chick, I think her name's Jadis, right? She's like, that's not enough guns. We need more guns. They make a deal so Rick can take 20 of them and keep that cat he stole, and they'll just come back with more guns, and then they'll fight with them. Then later we see back in Alexandria, Rick is going to talk to Tara, but she's on her way to talk to him. He's asking about Rosita because apparently she hasn't turned up for her guard shift duty, and Tara's like, she's probably just looking for guns. But then Rick's like, hey, what do you want to talk to me about? And she's like, I need to tell you something. So clearly she's going to tell him about Oceanside. Then we see at Hilltop, Rosita has showed up and she went to go talk to Sasha. They work out a deal that Sasha's going to help her go fight Negan if Sasha can be the one to take the shot. They also say that they can't, you know, be taken alive by the saviors because, you know, they'll be tortured and probably have to talk. So they're like, we're going to go do this. We're probably going to go die, but Sasha gets to take the shot. Rosita gives her one of the guns they just found and then they're like, yeah, let's do this. And then credits. Oceanside will probably be coming back up again. Hopefully it won't be a lame episode like the last one they were in. And Sasha and Rosita are probably going to get themselves killed. So, we'll see. I think there's like four or five episodes left in this season, so a lot can happen in that time. Um, if I forgot anything or left anything out from this episode, drop a comment. Don't forget to do things. Rate, comment, subscribe. I'll catch you guys later. Until next time.